No. Welcome back to my channel. So right now it's my lunch break and I just wanted to talk to you guys for a quick second just to let you know what's going on. You guys saw in the clips that over the weekend we went to Newport Beach and they have a really nice like shopping center there and they even have a Whole Foods in the shopping center which is like amazing. You could go shopping, buy clothes and then Get your grocery shopping done in the same little plaza but i wanted to talk to you guys about friday so basically me and undress got our blood work done and i thought you guys would be curious to see my blood work on a ketogenic diet considering that more than 50 percent of my calories come from fat so, um, with that being said, let me get to the good stuff. So, my total cholesterol was 200. My HDL cholesterol was 96 milligrams. LDL was 81 milligrams per deciliter. My trigs were 111. My fasting glucose was 93. My blood pressure was 90 over 60. And... That's it. So what does this mean? Um, so basically, I'm low risk in everything. I'm low risk in everything, which is really cool. Andres got his blood work done. So his total cholesterol was 215. His HDL was 47. His LDL was 149. His trigs were 89. His fasting glucose was 88 and his blood pressure was 116 over 74. So what exactly does this mean? I don't really depend on these blood results 100% just because they were taken last Friday and I was only on keto for about, for a week, two weeks. Before, that's when I had my diet break. So it's like, I don't even know how, how like eating the donuts and all that. Like, I don't know how that affects this test. I'm not sure if I have to be eating consistently for like two months and then it shows up in the blood work or like, I don't know how soon it takes effect. If you guys know what I'm trying to say. I was researching online about like cholesterol, HDL, LDL, just heavily researching that. And there's so much, there's so much information out there. There's so much to learn. But I just want to give you guys like a gist of what I basically learned. If you're trying to 
lower your LDL cholesterol or your trigs and you need to cut down on the saturated fat and replace it with like mono and polyunsaturated fat like I make it a priority for me to eat everything organic and non-gmo going through a competition prep and that in itself is unhealthy it's unhealthy to do that and your hormone levels get really whacked out and the least I can do is provide my body with the least amount of chemicals the least amount of processed foods hormones that's why I choose to eat non-gmo and USDA organic everything I recently switched protein powders as well um, because even though I was eating like organic chicken and wild caught tuna, what's the point of that when my protein powder, like I'm not even sure if Dimatize uses, that's the brand that I love. I'm not even sure if they use like grass fed cows, which I highly doubt. So right now I'm testing different protein brands that use proteins that come from grass-fed cows and also USDA organic vegan protein and so far I only tried one which the brand is Garden of Life I'll post a picture so you guys can see I tried the chocolate flavor and let me just tell you it is disgusting <laughs> it's disgusting it's really expensive it's chocolate who can mess up chocolate like you just put in some like cocoa powder it'll taste like chocolate no no it does not taste like chocolate it literally it tastes like dirt and it's not a soy protein it's a pea protein just in case you guys are wondering man like I already have to go back to work and like I feel like I didn't even say everything that I wanted to say I'm not a scientist and I'm not I'll post all the links that I was reading in the description box below so you guys can see where I got all my information. So HDL is considered your good cholesterol because it helps soak up the excess cholesterol from your blood vessels. If you're a guy, you want the minimum HDL level to be at least 40 and then if you're a woman, the minimum should be at least 50. And mine, what was mine? My HDL was 96 so that was really good and Andres's HDL was 47 so his is on the low side. Your trigs should never be more than twice your HDL cholesterol. There's some studies showing that as your trigs go up your HDL quality goes down and there's a specific test that you can do from the doctor. If you go to the doctor and ask for like a particle size test, look at the particle size of your HDL cholesterol and the LDL cholesterol and basically um, even though LDL is considered bad if you have like large fluffy LDL particles that's okay they're not shown to be harmful whereas if you have the small little dense LDL particles those are very harmful so if you do the particle test and you have a ton of those small um, dense LDL particles, that's one of the signs for heart disease. And then same thing for HDL, there's considered too much of a, a good thing. You wanna make sure you have high quality HDL particles. And then also on Thursday, I'm going to get a DEXA body scan. I'm really excited to do the body scan. Andres is going to come with me. He's going to get his body fat percentage tested too. So I'm just, I'm really excited because it's, it's like a new starting point. I get to see where I started out. And when I step on stage, I plan to do another DEXA scan to see how much body fat I lost. So I'm really interested and I get to share the results with you guys. I think that's it. I have to go back to work, um, but I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.